and welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Baseball Podcast Patreon exclusive content episode. And once again, I am your host, Kenneth Grunfelder, and it is great to have you guys here once again on this fine Thursday. So we just got wrapped up with the live stream portion of the show, and now we are in the uh, Patreon, Patreon part, Patreon, Patreon part of the show for today. And of course, um, you know, if you did watch the show, I talked about how uh, I'm going to be doing something different next week. We're going to a whole new schedule. Uh, so I'll be doing the uh, the football podcast moving forward here on the GSMC Sports Network. That'll be five days a week. And then the baseball podcast will all, will s- still be around, just I will be doing that now um, on every Friday. So that'll be done shortly after I do um, the football show. So... Yeah, we're, we kind of downsized it a little bit. I'll still be doing shorts, of course, um, but uh, yeah, so there, there's a little bit of a, a schedule change. Uh, we got a lot of moving parts, moving, moving things around, things happening behind the scenes, and uh, yeah, so that's how that's going to be moving forward. But there will be still be content with this every day during the week, just not as uh, as um, as much. So, um, but yeah, that's uh, so that's. Uh, news again that I wanted to uh, reiterate. But um yeah, so just got wrapped up with the show of course. Uh we talked about uh of course, you know, the latest news and headlines, uh recapped all the games and of course um you know, I talked about teams that could be on upset alert. Um so uh you know, with the latest news, I mean, I just talked about how the Twins you know, ended their uh their playoff drought, you know, they ended up moving on in the postseason. They they snapped their playoff losing streak. They, um, you know, they won. They they won a series finally. You know, since, first time since the early two thousands, which is just crazy to think about. Um, and yeah, now they are uh, now they're going up against the defending champs, and now they got somebody from that team, and that's Carlos Correa. Um, you know, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I, listen, I liked how their their starting pitching was in this. Uh, in this series against the Blue Jays, and that could definitely be, um, that could play a huge role in maybe them upsetting the Astros, the defending champs, and, and moving on. But me personally, I it can happen, but I don't think it will. And I did, you know, when I did my upset alert segment, uh, I feel as though uh, the Orioles, I think, could be the team that gets upset. I really do. I think the Braves, it could also happen too, because the Phillies, I just, I think their lineup is just, the lineup's very good. And they got the two guys at the top of the rotation. Um, I see the Dodgers as being the team that's least likely going to be upset. And I, and I hate to say it because, you know, the Diamondbacks, I don't want to disrespect them and what they were able to do against the Brewers. But I just think the Dodgers are a much better team and I just don't see it happening. But again, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Um, but I also talked about things uh, regarding non-playoff teams. Uh, the Padres, they're bringing back uh, their general manager and their manager, Bob Melvin and A.J. Preller. They're both coming back. Um, I think the Padres are going to... The Padres are going to run it back. They're trying to work out you know, an extension with Juan Soto. And I think that'll get done. Uh, well, actually, well, I don't know if it'll get done, but... I think even if it doesn't get done, I think what they probably do is they run it back for one more year. And listen, if if they do if they're doing really bad again and they're out of it, then you trade Soto and you get a big package for him. But um, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade him now if they do consider doing that. Just because I mean, let's see what the kind of season you have. You know, um, obviously Manny Machado he had elbow surgery, so. Uh, you know, he and I talked about that, so he's going to be out for a while. Well, you know, he might miss maybe a portion of the regular season, but listen, I still think they have a very good team. I mean, you could lose Blake Snell in free agency, so that it's going to be a big loss to your rotation if that ends up happening. Um, but I don't know. I think the Padres definitely should run it back, though. I mean, and also, I mean, Josh Hader's also a free agent too, so. Yeah, that's gonna be an, it's, that's gonna be an off season to definitely keep an eye on when it comes to the Padres. Um, 
So we'll just have to we'll just have to wait and see with that. But yeah, that's some of the news that came out, uh, you know, over the last uh, 24 hours. Which I mean, again, I kind of expected. And the Padres finished off the season hot, so maybe I mean I can't say they carry that momentum in the next season because it's I mean a completely different season and it's months away. But you know they finished with a winning record. It didn't look like that was going to be the case at a at a certain point. You know. So, but, yeah, that's just something that came out for today. Um, but, listen, I mean, you know, things you didn't really expect. I didn't expect the Twins, you know, in this first round. I didn't expect the Twins to move on. I just didn't. But, again, that just shows that goes to show you the disappointment that the Blue Jays have been. They just have. The Blue Jays have been a big disappointment over the last three years. Now, 2021, it looked like they were going to make the playoffs, and then they – you know, didn't play well at the end, and the Yankees and the Red Sox ended up getting the wild cards. Then last year, you choked that big lead against the Mariners, and now this year you get you get swept by the Twins, who haven't won a playoff game since I was an infant, <laughs> since I was a little, since I was a baby, pretty much. Uh, you know, so I, I there's a lot that has to uh, change with the Blue Jays. And again, I like I was on social media looking at their fan pages, and they, it, it it was like looking in a mirror when it comes to this team. I keep doing that. This team right here that I root for. Lack of left-handed hitters. Um, you know, all sluggers, not a lot of contact guys, over-analytics, over-analyzing, analy- analytic, whatever you want to say it, things. I mean... Over whatever, whatever you want to say. You know, you take out a starter, you put in another starter, and then that starter ends up blowing the lead, and then you don't hit in the postseason. And base running mistakes. How many times have the Yankees made base running mistakes over the years? Vlad Guerrero gets picked off, but yeah, I mean, I'm I, I, people are talking about getting rid of Vlad. I mean, come on, Vladimir Guerrero is a is one of the best players. In baseball now, has he been a little bit of a disappointment the last couple of years? I, I guess, but what, what are you going to get rid of him now? And is it really going to be because of that base running mistake that you're going to get rid of him? He's one of the reasons you're there. Now I feel bad for the starting pitching of the Blue Jays because they have a, a very good rotation: Gosman, Bassett, Barrios. Um, Kikuchi, who was solid this year. Uh, well, at least at certain points in the year. Um, you know, the rotation's good. The pitching's good. It's the offense that's the problem. And again, that reminds me of my team. You get to the postseason, your pitching's good, but your sluggers can't do anything. And that is something that, and listen, if the Blue Jays really, the Blue Jays have similar problems to the Yankees, you can't have that. You got to have more contact guys. You just you just gotta gotta get more left-handed bats. Now they tried fixing that by getting Kiermaier, by getting Varsho in the trade with Lourdes Gurriel, which looks like a bad trade now because Gurriel had a better season. And now the Diamondbacks are still in the playoffs. Um, and who else? I'm missing somebody else. And I, uh, Kiermaier, Varsho, and Brandon Belt. You brought in Brandon Belt, but it wasn't. That's not enough. You know. I, and listen, there's going to be some changes because Kiermaier's a free agent. Matt Chapman's, uh, I think, a free agent as well. Um, so there's going to be... The Blue Jays are going to have some changes to their team. Um, but I don't I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, I think also, like, another guy they traded to, Teoscar Hernandez, you know. But again, they wanted to get more left-handed, and I understand that. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, listen, Blue Jay fans could definitely explain it better. Um, you know, I'm more of an excuse me, I'm more of an, uh, an outsider. But you know, from what I saw on social media, again, it's like looking in a mirror. They're dealing with the same problems the Yankees or Yankee fans have with the Yankees. It's the same thing. Now with the Rays, it's a little bit different because you know they got a much they got a smaller payroll. But, I mean, the Rays, they just, listen, they are a very good regular season team. They are. 99 wins. But, 
they get to the postseason and they just they cannot they they don't do anything. That's another team that couldn't hit and they had injuries, but you know, it's a team that's not built to win a championship. It's just not. They're not a championship team. I, I don't believe that. That's why I really didn't have them going far. I said they would at least beat Texas because Texas was struggling and they, you know, the race had, you know, were at home. And I just thought, like, you know, they had a better season than they did last year. They should be able to get to the next round. And that didn't happen. But they don't – the Rays don't have – now, they have all-stars, of course. Yandy Diaz made the all-star team. Oh, Rosa Rania made the all-star team. Um, but – I mean, I don't think I don't look at those guys as superstars. They're not. I just don't, I don't see a team. I don't see that team making it all the way to the. Now they did in the COVID season, but again, that's a sixty game season. They were built for that. I don't think they're built for a hundred sixty two game season plus the postseason. Because you saw in twenty twenty one what happened. They got knocked down in the division series last year. Wild card round. This year, wild card round again. I don't see I, I don't see the Rays I, I don't see the Rays getting to a World Series. I just don't see it. I really don't. And, and once again, it didn't happen. It didn't happen for them. Offense disappeared. Their you know their pitching wasn't that good. Again, because they're dealing with injuries. I mean, McClanahan, their ace is you know him being out that doesn't help. And he's probably not going to be back next year either, it seems. Um, you know, and I mean, listen, they're, again, they're a solid team. But I just don't see them get into a World Series. So, you know, it's another disappointing end to their season. Um, I think people have had, kind of had enough of Kevin Cash, it seems. But yeah, I mean, they made it to the World Series in a shortened season. After, other than that, what have they done? They haven't really done anything, you know. And they got off to this great start, thirteen and zero. But that's because it was inflated because they loaded up the, the race schedule in the beginning of the year was loaded up against some of the worst teams in baseball. So yeah, of course the record was going to look like that. And get, and what happened? They had ended up collapsing, and the Orioles ended up taking them for the division. And actually, let's. Uh, um, let's actually look up their record by month because I was doing a little bit of that last night. Um, and let's see how bad it was, uh, you know, over the course of the season. Because again, got off to a really good start, but it just, uh, it just kind of all fell apart. So, 1 0 in March, but yeah, that was one game. So in April, they were great 22, 22 and 6. So we'll count March with that. So 23 and 6. Then they went seventeen and twelve in um in May. Then seventeen and ten in June. And then July is kind of where everything fell apart. They went eight and sixteen. Then they went seventeen and eight in August. Sixteen and eleven in September. And well, to finish off the year in October, they went one and zero. But the the month of July, I mean, that was uh, that that's really what changed their season. You know, they, the Orioles closed the gap on them, and we'll look at the Orioles' record now by uh, by month if we can. Oh, wait, what did it say? It says, you've used up all your free prompts for the day. Wow. It's because I'm using, uh, I'm using uh, the uh, stat muse, stat muse um, that gives you all baseball stats, too. Uh, so I guess I used up all my free, uh, my free prompts. I did not know that was a thing. I thought it was just a... F I, I didn't know that. So... But uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you could look up. I mean, you could look up the Orioles' record by month on something else. But yeah, I mean, it's not good. It's not good. But again, I, like I said, record got inflated by you know playing bad teams. I mean, they played the A's. Um, well, they played the Reds when like they thought the. Uh, I mean, the Reds ended up having like a decent year. I mean, just missing the playoffs, but. Yeah, I mean, the Rays weren't as good as, uh, you know, they started out to be. And then they ended up, you know, giving up the lead. Orioles win the division. And they got knocked out by Texas. And Texas is a good team. 
I just didn't like how they came into the playoffs with injuries and, you know, Astros getting the division. I mean, I don't know how many times. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, couldn't hold in the sneeze that time. Um, how many times, uh, you know, choking the lead to the Astros, you know, but and, you know, dealing with injuries to their rotation. Um, but, I, you know, I just thought the Rays were a better team. You know, um, and the Rays just, uh, they got swept. They got swept, so, yeah, they're out. And, I don't listen, I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, they, they got some holes to fill, but they don't have the payroll to necessarily do that. You know, their star player who they paid a lot of money is not a factor on this team anymore because of his off-the-field issues situation. So, I don't know what the Rays are going to do. I really don't. I really don't. Um, but listen, they'll go out and maybe have another good regular season, and then it's going to be the same thing. I just they're not they're not a team that I think is built for this for the postseason. I just don't believe it. Sorry. I mean, how they've done, how they are able to put a team together that's a playoff team consistently every year. Give them credit for that, but that's not a team that not a championship team. So. Um, you know, we'll see what they do in the off season. Uh, you know, fans are talking about catcher, shortstop, of course. Um, you know, some they got to do something with maybe their rotation too. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what they do in the off season. Blue Jays, I mean, yeah, they just uh, same thing. And then you look on the other side. I mean, listen, the Brewers might have to be uh, might have to tear that down as well. Um, just because, I mean, since the last time they made the uh, the championship series against the Dodgers in 18, I mean, they, you know, they haven't done anything. They haven't gotten any closer. You know, they keep getting knocked out earlier and earlier, missing the playoffs too. Um, but now, you know, I think now losing to the Diamondbacks probably have to, uh, I think it's time maybe you, you got to start over with that team. Marlins, I mean, that's the team, listen, they, they got there. They're up and coming, so, um, you know. And they just ran into, I mean, for them, they just ran into the Phillies, who are a better team. You know, so I'm not going to, you know, kill them for that. You know, the Rays, the Blue Jays, and the Brewers, they deserved, they, they deserved their criticism because, you know, I mean, the Rays and the, Blue, and the Brewers were home. Blue Jays, I mean, you know, the Twins haven't won a, a playoff series in a long time. Those teams deserve criticism. The Marlins, at least for me, I don't know how their fans feel today. I, I think, listen, they got they were able to get in, but they just ran into a better team. So, you know, I'm not going to kill them for that. But, yeah, so. But we'll see what this, uh, this division series brings. Uh, you know, we don't have the pitching matchups yet. Um... I talked about it, you know, tomorrow. Obviously, we'll, we'll preview them once we have a uh, an idea of who's starting. Um, but, yeah, I mean, these series are these series should be good. Uh, you know, and they all kick off on Friday or Saturday. I don't know why I keep saying kick off. It's not football. Although, you know, the podcast show for football is going to be kicking off next week. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I mean, before you know it, the season's going to be over, you know, um, so, but, you know, there could be, I, I think there will be at least one upset, I think there's going to be at least one upset, so my bracket's going to be screwed up, hopefully it's not the Braves, because I have the Braves winning the whole thing, so, but, I mean, you know, to go back to the Rays, I mean, one of my friends had the Rays going to the World Series, I'm like, I just don't see it. I really don't, especially after 2021. I just was like, because that was the year they were supposed to do it, and they didn't. You know, the Braves can get upset. The Orioles can. I mean, they all can. But I really think that the Rangers have the best chance to upset the Orioles. I think out of all the teams, that would be where my upset would be. You know? Um, and that's a series that, you know... I haven't seen those two teams in the playoffs in a while. You know, the Twins haven't been in it for a little bit. 
Um, you know, uh, obviously the Astros, the Braves, the Phillies, the Dodgers, they were all in it last year. Yeah, they were all in it last year. Um, the Diamondbacks haven't been in it for a decent amount of years. So, I mean, maybe we'll get something new. Maybe we'll get something new. I mean, you hope. I mean, hey, you get Orioles, Diamondbacks. That would be that would be fascinating. Although, I think Major League Baseball, and this goes for every sport, really. I mean, they kind of wanted a matchup that's enticing. You know, um, you know the NFL. A couple years. I mean, going back to 2017, 2017, 2018 season. I mean, they could have had a they could have had a Super Bowl that could have consisted of you know matchup of Nick Foles versus Blake Bortles or. Case Keenum versus Blake Bortles, but we did get Tom Brady against Nick Foles, and that Super Bowl was uh, amazing. You know, with the World Series last year, I mean, the Phillies and the Astros, I mean, you, you take that. The year before that was Braves and Astros. Take that as well. Rays and Dodgers, you know, you got the small market team against the big market team. Um, you know, and those, I think they were both the one seeds, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Not that it really matters because home field advantage really didn't meet, play a role in any of that season. It's just can't even believe that. I still can't believe that season was like real. And I'll be honest, I really don't remember that much from it. I remember some, you know, when it comes to my team. But yeah, that season I kind of just try to forget because you know that was a rough year for everybody, really. Um, you know, and it was just kind of weird to look back and think like there was like that long like I don't even know what it was like five month period right uh like four month period where there was no sports on there was nothing we had nothing going on you know and that was a real time that was a real time and I I just I I still you know every day during that time I would wake up and I would say what are we what are we living through right now but Thankfully, knock on wood, that is all behind us. And we're back to everything being normal in some capacity. You know, I mean, listen, you see like how the Phillies, you know, Citizens Bank Park was last night. I mean, it was just incredible. And that's what you didn't get during COVID. You didn't get that. I mean, in the World Series, there were some fans that year. But, yeah, it, um, you know, it, this is how it should be. And thankfully it is. So, but, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I mean, I don't really know what else to uh, to talk about here. I mean, we still got, I think we got, what, we got five minutes left in the show. Um, you know, like I said, I think the Orioles right now, they could have the best. Right now, the Rangers, I think, have the best chance of upsetting the Orioles. Um, then I said the, the Phillies could upset the Braves. Uh, then... Twins have the third best odds, and then I give the uh, the Diamondbacks the fourth best odds to upset the Dodgers. And also, I did read those the stats. Uh, you know, Dodgers pitching has a high high three three point seven one ERA. Dodgers pitching against the Diamondbacks this year, but the Diamondbacks have like a five point uh, five point four six I think ERA against the Dodgers. Their pitching against the Dodgers uh, does not match up well. I just think the Dodgers are a better the, the better team. And I, I just feel like, you know, it's going to be different, you know, for the uh, the Diamondbacks. So you're going up against, you went up against a team that, you know, is notorious for their offense disappearing in the postseason to a, a team that, yeah, listen, like, the Dodgers have had their playoff failures over the years. But, you know, at least in the first round, they're able to, uh, well, not last year and not when the Nationals won in 2019, but... Um, you know, I, I think the Dodgers, I, I feel confident in saying they will get that series um, and move on to the championship series. So, um, the Twins, again, I, I like their the, the rotation pitched well. And, and listen, the Astros, you know, haven't really been playing like themselves. They had kind of a down year. But they're still the champs. And the Twins, listen, it's not like they put up a million runs against the Blue Jays. They, you know, it's because of one guy and one inning in both of those games why they won and um you know the Astros are again still the defending champs they got the experience so I, I'd favor them 
the Braves are the Braves. I mean, that's why, you know. Um, but the Phillies have a very good lineup, and, you know, they're dealing, and the Braves are dealing with injuries in their rotation. Phillies got two good, great pitchers at the top of their rotation. So, um, you know, that could be an issue there. But I just, I feel like the Rangers can win that series against the Orioles. I think, I really think they have the best chance to upset one of these teams that are on the bye. I do. I do. But, again, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Up, oh, my dog just got up. I don't know if she's going to start barking. I hope she doesn't. Because, again, she's laying at my door. But she just, like, got up and went to the stairs. So I don't know if she, uh, if she heard something. Because, you know, she, uh, apparently got great hearing. It's just, uh, you know, sometimes she barks at nothing. So let's hope that doesn't happen. We got a couple minutes here, uh, left in the show now. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, tomorrow, same thing. We'll preview the, uh, the series. Hopefully the pitching matchups are out so I can go into more detail with that. Um, you know, we'll talk about headlines and news that comes out tomorrow and then, uh, you know, we'll figure out what, uh, what the other uh, segment will be. We'll figure that out by tonight. Uh, tonight's another city night for me, so I'll be getting home late. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it though with this edition of the Patreon exclusive content. So once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to go check out the videos up on both YouTube channels, um, and the podcasts other than mine as well. Uh, like I said, be starting the football podcast next week. So I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So once again, I uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go check out all the content on both YouTube channels. And until then, uh, until we're, tomorrow, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder uh, signing off once again. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. And uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. for the live stream. So take care, and I will see you then.